You're just in here all alone? Well, are you yelling again? I hear them too. I don't want to hear Here, let me tuck you into bed. Did you ever hear the story of how mom and dad met? I didn't know if it was a story. I think you'll like it. It's about both of us. It's about two people who will always love each other and will always love you. Where's mom? At home. She she forget? She's at home in bed with the door locked. Has been since your first day in. What short straw did you pull to get stuck picking me up? Honestly, I considered having you walk home. Uh, but no, I volunteered. I wanted to get a good look at you. What the heck cartel are you talking about? There was no cartel. You haven't even heard about the cartel. Who do you think Fuzzy works for himself? Think he grows for himself too? Fuzzy's a punk, Carl. I'll bet he was after me with that gun just because he was afraid a guilty plea would give away his little apartment growing operation. You haven't been out of there for five minutes already and you've already found a way to brush it off on somebody else. I'm not even trying to say it wasn't my fault. I just mean- I, Just stop. If mom hears you talking like this, it'll kill her. Well, you know I'm right. <laughs> I just don't understand it. They got upset when I was late on my payments, so I mean... No, not the cartel. You were never involved with the cartel. That's why I picked you up from the jail in a van instead of a hearse. I don't understand why you got all wrapped up in this in the first place. We weren't poor. You didn't need the money. You were a good student. You had a lot ahead of you. I can understand using. Peer pressure is real. Peer pressure had nothing the, to... I know it wasn't peer pressure because you weren't using. People make you use, but people don't make you sell. You don't just wake up one day willy-nilly and decide to start selling. Yo, why are we stopping? Well, my plan was to treat you to the best meal you've had in the last three months. Food wasn't that bad, come on. Oh, well, whatever, I'm hungry. <sighs> hey, I... I can't go inside. Why not? Just... Just not ready to be around people, I guess. I think we can eat outside. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, buddy. What do you want? I'd kill for a chimichanga right now. They, uh, they didn't have chimichangas. Seriously? Yeah, um, I got some, like, a Doritos Locos Tacos Locos Burritos. You know what I want more than anything right now? What's that? Shower. You smell fine. Just, you know, want to wash off the feeling of jail, I guess. Yeah, where'd they, where'd they stick you in there? In a, in a cell with two other guys. Jorge was uh, in for forging passports and RJ was in for possession with intent, like me. Jorge taught me uh, how to cook well with what we, you know, had around. Helped me make some more friends. Uh, what did you use to cook in there? Oh, uh, you could get a hot plate. Not much, you know, danger to anybody but yourself. I mean, I told you the food wasn't bad. It's never bad if you cook for yourself. So the cafeteria wasn't awful? Oh no, it was horrible. Other inmates did most of the cooking. I'm pretty sure they took turns spitting in the mashed potatoes. That's the only explanation for how it could have been so runny. So you actually learned a thing or two in there? Just a bit. Mostly what, uh, mostly what Jorge taught me. Maybe, maybe sometime I'll make you some sweet and sour chicken like the top. That sounds special. Is it any good? Not this good. Holy crud, dry yours. Right? Mm-hmm. That was the best chimichanga I've ever had. Agreed. Did you ever hear the story about how the first one was made? didn't know there was a story. So the story goes that the chimichanga came out of Tucson. Uh, a mother was making a burrito for her son in the kitchen of their restaurant. 
and she accidentally dropped the burrito into the deep fryer and as she dropped it she was about to swear but her, she remembered her son was sitting right next to her so instead of swearing she made up some whatchamacallit type word in spanish something that doesn't exist like a chimichanga right her son loved it and then it was a huge hit <sighs> that's unbelievable yeah well the jury's still out of her whether or not it's a true story but uh it's a good story uh, a lot of stories are like that you know what i mean just when people think they've ruined everything it, they've learned it's the opposite a new beginning all this time i thought it was mexican well yeah it turns out a lot of mexican foods like that actually you know let's let's get you that shower should you've gotten something to bring home for mom nah uh she hates mexican food dad used to like it and reminds her of him crowd i forgot